just develop the knight, just protect him. And again, four knights, simple and basic. One thing to remember for, especially for my games when I'm playing, is you don't have to do what the opponent expects you to do. No matter what level they are, you don't have to play what they expect you to do. And that's the kind of shocker when you're playing higher level players as well, is that they expect you to play a certain way. Maybe because of your grading or because they know of your reputation, they expect you to play in a certain way. And when you don't play in that way, that's when they start to squirm in their seats. So we're going to try and go for squirming in seat situations here. Let's just bring this. This is all pretty normal at the minute. Or the opponent is going to go for squirming in the seat moves. So we've got to be aware of that as well. Every chess player wants the opponent to squirm. And yeah, I don't mind doubling the pawn, so just get this here. I'm going to say it kind of has to take, but it doesn't have to. You can leave it there. Whoa, it's the deal. Oh, I'll just say he has to take because we're going to get this pawn for free. This bishop's protecting here, but I suppose in a way, does he do something fancy dancy? Well, well, no, we can't because the bishop is protected there. So if we do take, we're going to have to take. Yep. And if we push this, then he's got like three pieces on there. So let's go and castle. That was my squirm moment then, but because he had the x-ray through to our king, we couldn't really get that pawn because his, our bishop wouldn't be able to take it back. So now we're squirming because look at him, he's coming down with all the force of the gods. Magic just going to smaller piece, attack a higher piece. But also looking to maybe get the queen out, still protecting the pawn here, and then get one of the rooks here supporting. Uh, they're following the same trap, they're defending the knight. Uh, let's go here with our queen. And like we say, get one of the rooks, maybe, the, well, not that one because the knight is protecting. So I'm going to try and shoo the knight away and see where he wants to go. So probably goes back to where he came from. Could have taken this pawn here with the knight, but I didn't really want like a x-ray through on the knight and the pawn and the bishop as well so there was rationale for that one so you don't have to move they don't have to do anything that we say we're, we're kind of <laughs> very surprised when they do but yes yeah, so he's gone there we could look to go for an exchange with the queens does that give our pawn a good position it's on the knight but it's not really a good position is it and then we're giving this pawn here, then our rook comes through maybe. <laughs> and it don't have to take either as well. So whoops, if we did go up with the queen, then his queen comes down. No, no, get taken. Okay, I'm gonna give that a shot. It's even Stevens, we're gonna mess our pawn structure up. He's gonna have this pass pawn here, but maybe one of the rooks can get into life and own the file, maybe. And this is probably the point where when we look at the evaluation, the computer goes, no, I don't think you should have done that, dude. You know, maybe it would have been better coming here if you were going to do that. Then at least you've got double pawns here in the center. Or maybe it wouldn't have done anything like that at all. It's actually taken anyway. Okay, so the knight is going to try and fashion some way of getting that pawn. Nope, no, nope, maybe not. Oh, he has done as well. Okay, let's go here. Pawn takes in the center. Bring this bishop just attacking the pawn. Like I said, oh, he's got our pawn here. Yeah. And it's on our rook. Ouch, that's going to hurt, isn't it? I think I moved a little bit quick there. But he's defending, so let's go here. He's got a pass pawn now with this one. Because the bishop will take. I'm moving too fast. <laughs> but I'm, I've got squinchy mode on because he's got these pawns that are 
looking a little bit lively. This passport, I'm, I'm going to have to babysit it, which is a bit annoying. Uh, what's he doing? Okay, let's attack. I thought he would have gone behind here, actually, and just corralled this pawn down. Okay, they haven't done that yet, but maybe they're going to do it now. They're not doing that yet, so we probably have time to come here to attack this pawn and then get our king across. One, two, three. To give them something to think about anyway, because I did think he was going to go here and support the pawn. If the pawn pushes down, let's do the count. It does push down. One, move the king. Then the rook comes behind the pawn, I suppose. That gives us time to get in front, maybe. I'm talking like I know what I'm talking about. I don't know. I'm just guessing here. I'm hoping that, yes, okay, so we go here. So then he pushes down. Then we just go in front of the pawn. So he wants to fashion some sort of way of getting his rook around to the side of that pawn somehow. So his king probably couldn't need to get involved. Um, so I think in the meantime, we can take this pawn here because we've got three pawns that we can maybe try and get up before his king comes down and starts causing trouble supporting this pawn and i'm going to take Ooh. see that's the square he wants because he wants his king to come here but then we can take anyway can't we? let's go here always move there a bit deftly let's go here um, I'm still thinking we should be okay. If I could get my rook here, but if he moves his king there, then that blocks me off to come down here and attack his pawn. And oosh. Um, oh, do we have time? If he gets that pawn linked, he's going to be able to get this pawn ramping down. Um, we'll come here. Two come here, he's going to take that pawn, we take it back, his rook takes. Yeah, okay. Oh, we could just push our pawn, couldn't we? Let's just push this pawn, because past pawns want to be pushed, it's nearly there. It's nearly there. He's going to have to do all of that. We just push. Then maybe he comes and links. But then we've got a checkmate really. Oh well. His rook can go back. So anything. So if we do come out advantageous in this, it's because, bit, well, it's a good job we took our time to look at the past pawn situation instead of fretting about their potential um, position. So he's coming up, um, he's put a fort into that, but does he not lose tempo, maybe? Let's so put a check on, then he loses the rook, does he not? Or does he come down? No, no, he doesn't. block there that should be it interesting game um, okay pawns supporting itself let's go